what if you took risks? What if you took chances? What if you did the things that people said that you couldn't do? Welcome to my world. This morning on the way to school, I had a conversation with Ruby. She is back to her old ways and not wanting to do her work and easily getting frustrated and not having patience and uh, not, co not cooperating at school and feeling, you know, this. Uh, she said she doesn't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't, which isn't true. She does know how to do these things. She's just being lazy and difficult and I kept thinking why is she being like this like I just it's frustrating as a parent I can't even imagine how her teachers feel bless you Miss Nicole and Sarah love you girls Woo! Um, to all the teachers <laughs> shout out um, so I just was I personally was getting frustrated and I wasn't showing her my frustration but I was feeling it like what what is going on? Why is she being lazy? Is what I kept thinking. And then I thought, maybe it's not her being lazy. Maybe it's lack of self-belief. Or maybe it's, you know, she's just in a rut and her self-belief isn't there. Maybe her confidence is low. And so this morning I was having the conversation with her. Like, listen, you know, you got to practice being patient and take your time on things and try, you know, try not to get frustrated. So we went through some I am mantras. I am powerful. I am powerful. I am smart. I am smart. I am kind. I am kind. I am a great student. I'm a great student. I listen. I listen. I am patient. I am patient. I am brave. I am brave. I am strong. I am strong. I am wise. I am wise. I am a good friend. I am a good friend. I am a great student. I am a great student. I love doing my schoolwork. I love my teacher and my schoolwork. So we just we went through as many as I could think and she was repeating them and repeating them and the tone her tone started changing and she was getting more excited and you could hear more of the passion and uh, you know she high-fived me and we we went on into school and it was just really eye-opening to me um, to know that she's not being lazy she just didn't believe in herself and she didn't have the confidence and she was just down on herself and we all get that way. So what I learned from Ruby and Ruby not doing her work and Ruby being a poor student this week is that I work every day with people probably in the same, not probably, in the same mindset. You know, that maybe they're not good enough or they're not smart enough or um, I don't know, maybe even the people around them aren't supportive. You know, in Ruby's case, her teachers are supportive. But at home, these women trying to build a business, uh, maybe their spouse isn't supportive. Or the stay-at-home moms who are changing diapers, feeding faces, wiping boogers. They're, let's be real, their kid's not saying, Mom, you changed that diaper like a champ. High five, way to go. Mom, breakfast was the bomb. You sure are great at making scrambled eggs and cereal. They, they aren't hearing those things. So to all the people, moms, stay-at-home moms, working moms, teachers, dads, stay-at-home dads, to all of you humans who don't believe in yourself, I want you to search within. Um, if you don't do personal development, I do it. Five minutes a day, ten minutes a day. There's some amazing inspirational videos on YouTube. There are SoundCloud clips. Most of the stuff you don't have to watch. You just need to listen to it and feed your mind with positivity, with inspiration. Um, there's You can even search I am statements. And, and just change what you're telling yourself. Change the lies. Um, and don't rely on anyone else. Do that personal development for you. Um, 
Because if you can grow within and you can work on your mindset, you truly can accomplish anything. So I just want you to know that I believe in you. If no one has told you that, let me be the one to tell you that I believe in you. And anything that you set your mind to, you can accomplish it. You can do it. But you have to stop pointing the fingers at, oh, my spouse isn't supportive, or oh, my kid doesn't high five me for changing his diaper, or oh, if I just had this, or oh, if they would just do that, or you know, or, oh, Ruby said, oh, my teacher's mean. Every time we point and say, we're not accomplishing what we want to, or we don't love ourselves like the way we should, because of this, I want you to know there's always three fingers pointing back at you. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. Focus on what you can control and make a difference. I'm Liz Medley, and I believe in you. Bye, I hope you learned that. Ha, 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 ha.